t-shirt collection can you believe that we're up to video number five uh, who knows how many videos we have in this continuing saga of my t-shirt collection but once again i am joined by my wife angie angie say hello hello any thoughts <laughs> anything you want to say to anybody out there anything you want to talk about anything no? so many shirts so little time so many shirts so little time we're trying to crank all these out here but we're going to work through our shirts and of course this is the fifth video like i said so there's four other ones if you want to check it out a lot of people have requested this for a long time as they say, Kyle, you wear so many different shirts in your unboxing videos. Maybe we do a video where you just go through shirt by shirt and that's what we're going to do. We're probably going to miss some because I do got a lot of stuff folded, put away. I got a lot in the laundry probably still that need to be washed. So there might be some misses here and there, but who knows? We might be able to do another video down the road. Maybe we, once a year we'll do what was new, but I don't know if I'd ever remember what was new. That's a tough one. Yeah. Got a lot of shirts coming and going. That's the way it goes, but Let's dive in if Angie is ready. Ready as she ever will be, I guess. We're going to start it off. And I got this one hot off the press. Haven't even worn it yet. Old Sheiky baby himself, Iron Sheik, just looking all regal there. Look at that beautiful facial hair, the glasses. That's just the man, the myth, the legend, the Iron Sheik right there. Got that one. Haven't worn this one yet either, of course, from my trip to the Rainbow Bar and Grill in Los Angeles. Had to go pay my respects to my man Lemmy, and I had to pick up some rainbow swag while I was there, of course. So Lemmy looking good. Got a little graphics on the back. Just a beautiful shirt there. Got to add that to my Motorhead collection. And the hits keep on coming. Four Horsemen. Oh, yeah. The Four Horsemen. One of the greatest, if not the greatest, faction of all time. So many young memories from when I was a little kid watching the Horsemen back in the day. Also, Angie's favorite uh, <laughs> group from wrestling back in the day. Maybe, maybe not. How about Empire's Fall, Empire Darkness Over Britain and Ireland tour from Night Demon, a little tour shirt action from overseas. Very cool. I wonder if any of you guys from overseas saw this tour. Let me know if you did, but always love a Night Demon shirt, as I always do say. Hits keep on coming. Some might say I'm obsessed with the <laughs> band The Obsessed, Wino and the Boys. Uh, I've seen them twice over the years, once in Chicago, once in Des Moines. Uh, the Obsessed, very underrated, very doomy, a little Black Sabbath inspired. Check out The Obsessed if you've never seen them. Uh, let's keep on coming once again. A little West Coast thrash metal, new wave of traditional heavy metal, thrash metal. Holy Grail, very cool shirt. I always like this one. I always get a lot of good compliments on this shirt too. It's got a very cool color scheme to it. Uh, but Holy Grail, check them out if you like uh, your traditional heavy metal, we'll call it. Here comes the axe. Here comes the smash. We're Demolition. Once again, another Demolition shirt there. Uh, the boys in paint absolutely love Demolition, as I've said before on the channel. One of the all-time great tag teams. And then we got my girl Dolly Parton. Oh, Dolly, country mu music royalty, some would say. <laughs> old Dolly Parton uh, looking good in a classic Dolly Parton t-shirt there. Good old Dolly. How about old Mean Gene Okerlund? Oh, Mean Gene, I love this shirt. Uh, and Mean Gene is one of those guys that, that you just, you always liked, but you liked it more when you think back to your childhood. Really uh, one of the voices of my childhood back in the day. I always tell the story too, my grandma lived in a town of like 400 people and they put a Mean Gene pizza in that town. It was actually a game changer, absolute game changer when I was a kid. And Angie, you had a Mean Gene pizza in your uh, neck of the woods too, didn't you? Mm-hmm. She had one in the bowling alley. Oh, the bowling alley pizza. Mean Gene. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. But Mean Gene Oakland, one of the all-time greats. Here's one that maybe uh, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. It is the Dragonfly, of course, from G.I. Joe. That is that logo from that vehicle back in the day. Of course, Wild Bill running wild in the Dragonfly, but looking good with that Dragonfly logo from G.I. Joe. And if you really kind of ancillarily know your G.I. Joe, you would know this one. You would know this jersey. You would know Bazooka. Yes, Bazooka, one of the great ones of all time. The classic Bazooka jersey, number 14, representing the G.I. Joe brand right there. Looking good. Oh, we continue on with old Mastodon, a very cool shirt as well. Mastodon from the Hunter Tour. This is kind of a takeoff on that shirt that went kind of viral back in the day about like the three wolves and the moon or whatever. So it was kind of their play on it with the Hunter mask, but I always did enjoy this one. A lot of good Mastodon shows over the years. I haven't seen them in quite some time. I guess since COVID, I haven't seen them. So maybe I got to rectify that one of these days. How about Bob Dylan? He is truly forever young, but Bob Dylan and his band. 
Absolutely love Bob Dylan. I've seen Bob Dylan like 28 times in concert, something like that. Uh, one of my all-time favorites. Just the definition of cool, if you ask me, is Bob Dylan. Uh, still to this day, just always cool. So looking good there. Have you ever seen Bob Dylan? I don't think so. Did you ever go to one of those shows with me? Never? His voice is a do-over. Oh, stop. How about the brand new Outsider Night Demon shirt from the new album just recently came out. And that is the album that came if you bought the uh, package with the new album. You got that shirt thrown in. So an interesting one. I wouldn't say it's my favorite Night Demon shirt. But the, the green and black always does pop on a shirt like that. So we do got a little Night Demon. How about this one? A little Motorhead Saw crossover. Born to lose, live to win. And you got kind of that saw. Uh, we're wearing that contraption over the head. Uh, very, very cool there. So born to lose, live to win. Of course, Lemmy, one of his famous mottos back in the day. We're all born to lose. We all live to win. That's that's the way it goes. So very cool shirt there. Oh, baby, you guys know I love my 70s Planet of the Apes movies. This is the definition of cool there. Old Roddy McDowell himself got the sunglasses on. Uh, nice green shirt. I've always had a Planet of the Apes shirt in my collection for whatever reason, but uh, as a kid, I absolutely loved those 70s Planet of the Apes movies. They were always on like TBS and stuff like that. Uh, some amazing movies there. And everybody loves the first one, but I love like the Beneath the Planet of the Apes, uh, Conquest, War for the Planet of the Apes. Check that one out. Very cool. And speaking of cool, Willie Nelson, Shotgun Willie. One of the all-time great Willie Nelson albums of all time is Shotgun Willie. I think that and The Red-Headed Stranger... Uh, what else do I like? I like some of his live stuff too, but uh, there's a lot of good Willie Nelson albums. There's some clunkers in there too, of course, but Shotgun Willie, an all-time great. There you go. Uh, let's keep on coming with a great t-shirt, one of my favorite matches of all time. Born to be Wired, Sabu versus Terry Funk. I distinctly remember sitting behind my computer in like high school when that match was going on reading the live play-by-play -play of that match from the ECW arena in like one of the AOL chat rooms or something like that. <laughs> and I just couldn't believe what I was reading. And then of course, getting to see it on TV, getting the, I think it was VHS tape back in the day, getting that from uh, ECW, just an all time great match. Old Terry Funk, Sabu, absolutely wild. When Sabu ripped his barbed wire, you know, the barbed wire ripped open his bicep and he got the tape out and taped it up. And then when they got intertwined in that barbed wire, they had to be cut out because they were so caught up in it. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. One of your favorite matches, too? Probably. Corey. Yeah. And then we get another Motorhead shirt. This is one of those uh, World Cup ones. And this is what? Italy, I believe? Yep, Italy shirt. Uh, 2014 World Cup. Born to lose, live to win once again. But a different color, a different take on the classic Motorhead shirt. Absolutely love that one. And the hits keep on coming. We got another one as well. This one is in green. Is this Mexico? Yep, Mexico right there. Motorhead Mexico. Looking good in green. We don't see a lot of green motorhead shirts, so definitely good. Definitely great for St. Patrick's Day, so people won't pinch you. Uh, you can always wear it that day. <laughs> Looking good. And then the hits keep on coming. We've got the France version, which is probably my favorite one of the bunch. For some reason, I like this kind of dark blue color against this one. It looks really nice. Looks really good. Very motorhead. Very World Cup 2014. I don't know who won the World Cup in 2014, but... <laughs> Uh, I guess I did with all those Motorhead shirts. <laughs> How about the Beach Boys? Brian Wilson. Oh, the Wilson brothers. Carl Wilson, too. Don't forget Carl. Don't forget Dr. Mike Love. All the other friends there. The Beach Boys representing. How about a little bit of a lethal protector? Some people say I'm the lethal protector of this house. Uh, but we all know it is Lemmy at the end of the day. But we got Venom, the Lethal Protector, back to the old school miniseries Venom comic back from the 90s somewhere. I always remember buying that and reading that up. Uh, a great time to be a comic book fan, of course. Love it. Need some more of it. And how about once again, we go back to Terry Funk, the old King of the Death match himself. Absolutely love Terry Funk, as I've said many a times in these very videos. But love kind of the bloody look on the Terry Funk one there. And you got the rules of the Texas Death Match on the back. Uh, there'll just never be another Terry Funk, unfortunately. It just uh, is what it is. The world is yours, is what Motorhead told me back in the day. And this is another one of those shirts that you got when we bought the CD. And that's what I got this one from. So the world is yours. Kind of a classic take on the classic Motorhead t-shirt design. We've seen it before a million times. But looking good there. Old Motorhead once again. And the hits keep on coming, which is this one. A fairly recent one. The House of Black. Oh, yeah. The House <laughs> of Black. Uh, of course, AEW. Angie thinks of herself as a member of the House of Black sometimes, but I don't know if you've been uh, totally uh, invited into the fold yet, but we'll see what happens. But House of Black, AEW, of course. And then Angie, she's a screamer, let me tell you that. And she's screaming for vengeance with Judas Priest. 
There it is, looking really good, old Judas Priest there. Classic album design, that was part of the remastered edition. Looking really nice. And you know what else looks nice? I love these segues. Uh, you know what else looks nice? Country and Western. Oh, yeah. Give me the country and the Western. Uh, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. Put the O back in country, if you ask me. But looking good there. Uh, very classic. Looks like something my uncle would have worn in the early 80s or 70s or something. But very cool. Country and Western. Got that deep V neck. Oh, you got to get a tan for that deep V. <laughs> Show some hair. There we go. Continue on with the boys in clutch. An interesting shirt. A little different. That's why I bought it. Not my favorite clutch shirt of all time. What does it say? Like Party in the White House or something like that? What's it say? Live on there? music in the White House. Live music in the White House, of course. A uh, classic lyric from a classic clutch song. The public want to get down. <laughs> Everybody wants to get down. Especially clutch. Oh, we got two left. We're finishing it off. We're finishing it off with one of the great German bands of all time. I need to double check my calendar like a young Santa Claus because I believe they're coming to Minneapolis this May and I think Hammerfall is opening for them. Who am I talking about? One of the all-time greats. We're talking about Halloween. Oh, yes, Halloween. This is from the 30th <laughs> anniversary days. Uh, Halloween looking good. Uh, I believe Chris Jericho. Isn't that like his favorite band? I think so. I know he's got the Halloween tattoo. I did see the Pumpkins United tour in Chicago. I think that was pre-COVID. Uh, quite the show. It sounds like that's coming back again. They're going to be united once again up in Minnesota. So I need to make time. I got to find a way to get to that show. And I'm sure Angie, you want to join me? No, she doesn't. Okay, well, you can maybe join me for this one in the next go around. This is the last one of this very video here. We got Iron Maiden North American Tour 2012. I believe I saw them in Chicago. Yes, Chicago, uh, July 5th, it looks like. That would have been the show I would have saw on that tour. Always fun seeing Iron Maiden, as I always do talk about. Just a beautiful, beautiful one from 2012. So there it is. That's this video. Another video is done. This is the fifth one? I think so. Fifth video. Can you believe it? We got five of these done. Angie, we got about five left to go. So hopefully <laughs> it gets interesting. It'll be interesting to see what you wear as we go. It seems like they get a little different every single time with what you're wearing here. So... We'll see. She's got Johnny Cash here today. I got, of course, Roy Clark. Two country greats, country and western all day long here today. So there's the fifth video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. We know Angie's enjoying it. I'm, of course, enjoying it. But uh, make sure you do subscribe to this very YouTube channel. Make sure you like this video. Angie always smiles a little bit brighter when she gets a thumbs up, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, yeah, so subscribe, like, and then comment below. Let me know your favorite shirt here. Let me know uh, what you think of this video. Be honest. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, but uh, there's video number five. We'll be back with video six. Until next time, for my wife Angie, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.